Hey, what's up guys? Ken here from the Retro Toys Capades channel in Malaysia. Now I'm back again at my neighborhood Toys R Us a few days after my last video. And look what we have here today. Officially out at retail. It's way four of the Motu Origins figures. Look at these guys. Triclops, Hordak. Just chilling out here in this heavily secured, locked glass display case. Now there's also some of the Motu minis here, uh, the Slime Pit assortment. And over in the back, uh, there's a Stratos figure hiding out here. And a ton of Skeletors still lined up in the back. Yep, looks like there's no getting rid of Skeletor anytime soon. But you know what guys, this is just this is just amazing, okay? I've never seen Hordak at a department store display in my entire life until now. Now Toys R Us in Malaysia has been pushing the Motu brand pretty hard on their online website and this has been a great resource for collectors especially over the last few months when everything was closed due to the pandemic. And Wave 4 of Motu Origins has been on their website, available for immediate purchase as of the last two weeks. So the stocks are definitely available and in sufficient quantities. Now I am surprised as to why there's only so few of these figures from the new wave being put out on display. And why aren't they on the shelves, instead of being in this sealed, heavily fortified cabinet? Well, maybe the storekeepers wanted to ensure that the cards are kept in a nice and mint condition for collectors and not manhandled by random users. Still, these are meant for kids to have access to as well. And it would be great if the toys could be out in a brightly lit display under supervision, you know, for, for anyone to pick up and check out up close and then make a purchasing decision. I imagine seeing a shelf full of these guys you know, would be something absolutely breathtaking. I haven't seen anything like that since the 1980s. Now, I've also seen a lot of comments from followers on the channel, especially after I reviewed the entire Wave 4 figures a few weeks ago, uh, as to why Malaysia and Asia seem to have the new wave of figures ahead of some other parts of the world. Well, you know, the truth is, I've got no idea. But then, you know, this must be part of some distribution master plan. Now, this morning, I just went online and I saw that stores in the US have the new deluxe figures of Clam Champ and Ram Man out. And I was like, hot damn, dude. You know, we haven't seen a single one of these deluxes yet, you know, since the battle armor He-Man and Skeletor once went out. Uh, but, you know, wherever in the world you might be, I think that we can all appreciate and be happy for the fact that we're finally seeing these toys out there and having the chance to now own them. Okay, checking out the rest of the store. And over in the back here, we actually have a display full of the Origin Sky Sled and Prince Adam sets. Now they've actually got Motu mixed up in a display shelf for Minecraft. Maybe they're crossing over soon. Hey, but wouldn't it be great if they just made one dedicated Motu display and then they can place all their Wave 4 figures together here as well? Wouldn't that make for a jaw-dropping display? I mean, maybe the Skeletors would start moving too if more people could see them out in the open. Anyway, this store must have like the world's entire supply of Sky Slats. Like maybe 20 units? Yeah, well, that's a lot. You know, I always wondered why Adam doesn't have a different head sculpt from He-Man. Does the magic of the sorcerers prevent people from seeing that it's actually the same guy? Now, you know, it is a bit disheartening that more people are not picking up this set, okay? Um, because it's frankly amazing. You know, you get an exclusive figure and a very good vehicle that actually changes to an evil mode for the evil warriors as well. And since it's on a larger box, the artwork section is blown up too. You know, you get more amazing visuals going on. You know, it's like the difference between a, a regular screen and an iMac screen. 
Now this set came out last year uh, before the holidays. If you actually got this as a gift for a friend or for yourself, it would have made for one amazing present. Anyway, that's the video guys. Drop me a comment and let me know what you thought of it. Uh, do support me by subscribing to the channel and sharing the videos out. You know what? It's just such a great feeling being at the toy store again after so many weeks of quarantine. You know, it's just such an amazing feeling seeing all these displays, seeing 80s brands like Motu and Transformers side by side. <laughs> just amazing. Well, take care guys. I'll catch you all again soon.